Well, hello everybody. Bugadier64 here, and today we are going to be flying in the X Trident CH-47D Chinook. Now, this is in X-Plane 12, as you can tell, and uh, this is a version that was updated to, so it could be used in X-Plane 12, so we're going to give it a shot. Uh, and we're going to be flying from KFUL, which is in Fullerton, California, to KAVX, Catalina Island, one of my favorite places when I used to live out there and work out there. So, um, instead of sailing, today we're going to fly a helicopter over there. So, just going to get it done. Um, I have not tested the configuration on my hardware, my HOTAS. Uh, and we know I've got a problem with with the uh, rudder pedals, so we're just going to do the best we can, see how it goes, and let's get going and get in the air. Okay, so here we are in the aircraft at KFUL, and oh my goodness, I just touched the collective and bang, she jumps in the air. Okay, so point number one, reconfigure Hotas. The collective is entirely too sensitive. We already know the issues with the anti torque pedals. Okay, so let's see if we can settle this down some. Whoa, okay. And even the cyclic is very touchy. Like I said, I haven't done any helicopter flying uh, since the latest update and the flight dynamics apparently have been updated or changed. Uh, but uh, it's something we can deal with. Alright, so we're leaving uh, Fullerton Municipal and we're going to head for uh, Catalina here in just a second when I get everything to settle down. The collective is one second it reacts just with a hair, a breath of a touch, and now it's kind of doing what it wants. This is interesting. So this test flight will uh, see how things end up here, but uh, this is all uh, generic uh, South Southern California for X Plane 12, and actually it's not looking bad at all. So the latest update, uh, they've done some nice work in improving. Uh, scenery. I'm curious to see what uh, Catalina Island, because it's got kind of a unique airport. Uh, it was originally uh, used for uh, DC-3 flights to go from uh, here in California to uh, Catalina Island, which is a great uh, area for fishing and boating and uh, people would fly in there and spend weekends but uh, the hangar that was originally used for those DC-3s is still there uh, in the real world so I'm curious to see what they've done here uh, I have in Microsoft Flight Simulator there was an update and I was able to get a uh, add-on uh, of scenery for Catalina Airport and it was very good. Uh, also in the old X-Plane, Mr. X, who's been making uh, scenery for X-Plane for years, 
did a very good rendition of Catalina Island, Avalon Bay, and uh, the airport, and it it was beautiful. So it's going to be. Uh, let's see what they did with the uh, generic airport and see how that turns out. Uh, so here we are on approach to Catalina. Airport is straight ahead of us at uh, a little over 1600 feet. And needless to say, I've been kind of fighting the uh, way the X Trident right now uh, CH-47D is reacting to my HOTAS inputs. So, but that's, uh, that's something we'll be, I'll be able to take care of and fine-tune. Uh, but uh, that'll be after this fight. And we will be approaching the area of runway 22. Although the uh, wind is actually a bit of a crosswind today. I had a number of flights in the X Trident in uh, X Plane 11, which were, is a very nice module. And uh, I was happy to see that they've updated it. It was actually for X Plane 12.04, and uh, which now we're at X Plane 0 .0 uh, But it appears to be working. Other than the um, minor issues with how the aircraft is reacting to control inputs, it just and, and they're not that bad, it's just that it seems to be uh, much more sensitive than uh, what I expected. And that just means I've got to do some fine tuning and maybe work on some curves for this uh, aircraft. I can already tell that the uh, hanger that the DC-3s used to use is not present. There is a hanger there, but it's, it's not even close.
Okay, so. We're moving very, very slowly forward. One, because I'm very nervous on how it's going to react to inputs. Um, but it's also, it, it seems to be... nearly in a hover so it seems to be working okay but I'm definitely gonna have to work on the inputs uh, for the HOTAS and, and so on so I have to make some adjustments to hardware And they've tried to, but the the airport buildings, uh, the main airport building, which is a multi-story building just like this, it is uh, made of brick. It's more of a, a Spanish-style building, so. Uh, So they need to work on it, and uh, I'm sure some third party would be do a, a much nicer job, but it's acceptable. All right, let's see if we can set it down. Cause yeah. Okay. The uh, collective is being a little finicky. Yes, yes, okay. Yeah, I'm not. Whoops, whoops. Hold on to it. Whoa, okay. Little bounce. And we're down. Okay, touchdown was minus 147. Well, okay, there we have it. Flight completed. No damage to the aircraft and nobody hurt. Nothing like that. Not a bad flight. Um, found out real quick. Got to do some more work on uh, the HOTAS and checking some of the curves because the... Uh, Nothing's working quite right, and I should, you know, so, and I've been doing this with a few different aircraft after the latest update uh, for X-Plane 12, uh, version 12.0.9, and uh, there have been some changes to, to some high, to the way some of the controls are reacting on different aircraft. So, we'll be doing some more testing, but all in all, it wasn't a bad flight. I'm um, definitely going to have to work on the scenery for Catalina Island because uh, that generic just ain't going to get it. It's not bad. Not bad. But uh, it's going to need some work. So anyway, keep looking for having an easy time but keep finding ways to give myself more work to do. Anyway, with that being said, uh, I sure hope you enjoyed it. Uh, just a quick video. I had a lot of fun bringing it to you because I just love to fly just about anything. And uh, until next time, this is Bug Eater 64. And as always, remember, safe flying.